Zambia is a country in the central part of southern Africa. It is a landlocked country, meaning we don't have connections to the sea or ocean. In Zambia, we are well known for peace. Uh, we may be fighting disease and hunger, but in terms of physical fighting with other nations or within ourselves, God has blessed us with him. Uh, a sense of peace. My hope as a priest and my interest in being there and serving this community, um, I understand my responsibility as someone who can bring a bit of light uh, to people so that they may become much more attracted to education as well as to development at different levels. So as regards the school, we have children that come to our place the church and uh, we always emphasize the importance of going to school. Seven, eight, nine, ten. It is just the desire that we may um, manage to make education so attractive because the place is not going to develop unless people in the area uh, have the commitment to develop the place and it becomes a very difficult uh, without a meaningful uh, education. Father Jerry Ganderson has been my spiritual director, a spiritual companion from 2009. I went to Zambia to celebrate the Easter Triduum with Father Wilfred and some of the priests in Zambia. And it was a, a, a memorable experience that I will never forget to see how the faith is spread. There were over 60 baptisms uh, that Easter vigil. When I was in Zambia, the thing that struck me most was the lack of the kinds of transportation that we take for granted. Many people walked long miles uh, to get to their destination just to get food, uh, to uh, be able to get medical care. And that's how it began. The first year, uh, he, with the community of St. Mary, City of Wisdom, mobilized resources. They blessed each part of the houses with the money for a used Toyota Hilux that is serving one of the newly created parishes within the diocese and 100 buffalo bicycles for different um, people. The students going to school early morning, on, instead of going on foot, they're given uh, some bicycles, um, an incentive, an encouragement. And part of the bicycles were given to uh, people who are volunteer health workers. There are patients who, after receiving medication here, they can't walk back home. Yes. And you use this as an ambulance to take them home. Oh, of course. Uh, this past Easter, we uh, focused on communications needs. And Father had explained that if he could obtain some solar panels and some uh, satellite dish, um, that that would greatly enhance his ability for communication as well as having some electricity. Um, and so uh, we were very successful. And uh, in addition to those communications vehicles, we were able to replace or, or supplement the vehicle he has been using, which is a number of years old and uh, is starting to have mechanical difficulties. So a new vehicle has been delivered uh, for him uh, to be used to get around to his villages. The work ahead is enormous. What we are doing now is that we desire that in the next two or three years, we should have a good parish church. People, have already started molding bricks 
um, people have to participate. You see, it's their need they're responding to. So they take part in that way by modding bricks. It's a slow process, it's taxing, but that's the only option we have for now. There are two images that Pope Francis has given us. Um, he said that he wanted the church to be like a field hospital. I think of a field hospital as someplace where people are healed and made whole. Um, this project of reaching out to the Chiqua Parish um, very much is in that spirit of, of uh, bringing health care, bringing the faith, uh, bringing our love uh, to others. The second image that is often associated with Pope Francis is that we should have the smell of the sheep. And um, the, the flock of Jesus is vast and wide, and this experience of becoming involved with Chiqua Parish uh, has caused a, a, an exchange, a mingling, that I just think is very much, again, in the spirit of what Pope Francis has challenged the, the church to do. He very much has expressed his desire that the church be a church that is for the poor and with the poor. And I think for me as a pastor of a, a fairly affluent parish, it's very important that we take advantage of the opportunity presented by my relationship with Father Wilfred. Hey!